electric vehicles. They're fast, they're futuristic, and driving one is probably the closest you'll ever come to being Tony Stark. But when we compare them to the gas-powered vehicles we already have, the question is, are they functional? Let's start with a history lesson. EVs have actually been around for over a century now, and were even quite popular until the invention of the electric starter allowed travel over much longer distances thanks to tanks filled with petrol. And additionally, gas vehicles could be refueled quickly at service stations instead of needing to be charged over time. A convenient feature to be sure. So then why are consumers so amped up now compared to the early 2000s when GM's fleet of EV1s was discontinued and crushed for a variety of totally above board reasons that had nothing to do with an industry-wide strategy to kill it? A big part of it seems to come down to sex appeal. Ooh, yeah, and some yeah. of the recently released and upcoming vehicles are actually cool. Like, really cool. Like, self-unlocking, near-silent running, drivetrain power restricted to keep you from spinning violently off the road. Cool. But for many shoppers, there are some other factors to consider, too. Number one is the actual practicality. And the good news is that this is rapidly improving with ranges between charges today above 400 kilometers and even up to 650 kilometers depending on conditions. Charge times rapidly lowering with charge stations being deployed that are capable of delivering 270 kilometers of range in half an hour. And further innovations coming like battery packs for your home that sit in your garage and allow you to stockpile energy from roof mounted solar panels or even even from the grid during off-peak hours when it's both cheaper and less environmentally impactful. Which ties into our second huge purchase consideration, ecological impact. Because while the range and quick refueling of gas vehicles is certainly handy, it turns out that they emit pollution that depletes the ozone layer, the importance of which caused our global leadership to spring into action with no regard for the profits of private corporations. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't even make it all the way through that because even some of the more credible sounding arguments against EVs, like pointing out that burning coal to generate electricity also damages the environment, have easy counter arguments like, well, at least it's easier to regulate and maintain the modernity of a few large scale energy operations versus having stuff like this chugging around on the road. But to be fair, some government entities do or have begun offering incentives for electric vehicle purchasers and have even begun mandating public charging station allotments. It's just that these initiatives often face resistance from more than just big oil. For example, since electric vehicles generally require much less maintenance and are therefore cheaper to keep, many auto mechanics and parts distributors are understandably upset that we won't need those regular oil changes or spark plug replacements anymore. So all that's left for this episode, given that electric vehicles are amazing, right Linus, is the gotcha. Shiny new tech, or at least old but recently improved tech, is expensive, and lithium ion battery production and recycling still has a ways to go before we can really call that eco-friendly either with a straight face. But I hope that most of you watching can embrace at least the idea of continuous improvements on electric vehicles leading to a better tomorrow, unless that's a truth too inconvenient for you to face. Speaking of inconvenience, you know what's inconvenient? Being a freelance worker or a small business and having to keep track of on paper or with like your separate accounting software and then you create a bill for your customer and you mail it to them and then who knows when they're gonna pay it? FreshBooks is the easy way to manage this stuff online. You can track your hours, you can track your expenses, you can send out invoices by email, you can see read confirmation so you know that they got your bill and then you can allow your customers customers to pay online so the whole thing is easier and faster. It keeps you running your business doing the things that you should be doing and makes it so you're not worried about the little details like, you know, what's cash flow like? Well, it's all in one place. You know, what's the history of my invoices? Uh, what's the, you know, stupid timesheet that I, oh my goodness, I can't remember if I worked that day. Don't worry about that. If you're your own boss, you should be using stuff that makes you feel like a boss. So try out FreshBooks now. You guys can get a free trial so you can do all this stuff online and focus on making more money as a business owner. Head over to freshbooks.com slash techquickie and don't forget to enter techquickie in the how did you hear about us section. Thanks guys for watching this video. Like it if you liked it, dislike it if you thought it sucked. Leave a comment if you have suggestions for future fastest possibles. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and follow and all that good stuff.